and this is me now also because I ate a McDonald's burger so hey Stella Bellas and welcome back to my channel Today's comment shout out goes to Today's comment shout out goes to Aisha Bukas. I hope I said your surname right. And it's quite a long message, so let me just get this hair out of the way. I've been contemplating messaging you for the longest time, but I was holding back because I don't think my age group is your target audience. I'm one of your older I'm one of your older people that watch you and I have to tell you how much I love you and your videos. I admire your life and pray you remain blessed. I love Oli. OMG, how I love watching the two of you interact. I think you are so authentic in everything you do. No fake stuff, just genuine Selena. Thank you for sharing your life with us. You have become a regular in our household. You are so brave. Putting yourself out there is no easy task. And I know some days may not go exactly as planned, but always have faith in the bigger picture. Sorry for the long message, but I just needed to tell you what a beautiful soul you are. Thank you so much, Aisha, for your very, very sweet message. It means a lot to me. And if you would like a shout out in my next video, make sure to leave a comment on this one or interact with me on my other platforms. It is Tuesday, and today has been quite a busy day. I feel like ever since I've left um, work, my life has just been very busy, very, very busy. The first week at home, I was like preparing for the wedding. Then last week, I just had a lot of work to do. And what is this? This week is the same. So I had to go remove my eyelash extensions, which is not ideal for me because I was really enjoying them. And it's literally only been a week. I got them done last week, Tuesday. And now this week I had to remove them. For that campaign that I was talking about so I am straightening my hair now because I need to film um, videos for that campaign today so I'm gonna film and hopefully everything gets approved and goes live when it's supposed to go live which is the 31st which is Thursday so hopefully everything just goes live without any problems um, so that is that also my skin as you can see is just I don't know what's happening I really don't know what's happening I have been eating healthier drinking a lot of water but who knows what's happening anyway one of the days I just googled like acne treatment and this popped up from clicks not sponsored but clicks so this popped up on clicks um, the one thing that's weird though so I have Cetaphil currently in my shower excuse me nasty burp um, oh, I went to Theo Shah's house again <laughs> and I got food again. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Benzoderm is made by Galderma and Galderma also produces Cetaphil. The same ingredients that are in Cetaphil is also in Benzoderm, so I don't know. But anyway, it comes with a cleanser, a uh, moisturizer and a acne treatment thing. So, it's only been two days, I think I bought this on Sunday, it's only been two days since I've used it and the spot treatment did help this one go down but I feel like they're still like, oh my gosh, why does my skin look like this? <gasps> my skin looks so dry around here. I don't have anything here. But yeah, so it helped bring this one down but I think there's still stuff in here and then this one just looks terrible. Like. Yesterday, when I came out of the shower, it popped, but you can still see there's like stuff in there, which is very frustrating. But I've been testing out this um, kit, so let's see how that works. And then I also bought these Skin Republic um, patches for my skin. And so far, I really like the way it works, and it is the best skin patches that I have ever purchased so far. So I'm very happy about that. I also was planning on having a few days this week where I don't have to wear makeup and doesn't look like that's gonna happen so unfortunately I just have to deal with my skin around work and stuff so today I am going to shoot for 
Maybelline. The campaign is Maybelline. I'm going to show you what the PR box looks like now that it's confirmed that I'm on this campaign because I take my lashes off. So after I straighten my hair, I just need to go wash my lashes one more time because I can see some of the wax is still on there. So she uses like a wax to dissolve the glue. Very pain-free, very chilled. Um, everything is actually pain-free when she does my lashes. So, mm. so I need to wash my lashes one more time, put some makeup on and then film the content for Maybelline. Um, tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow I have part of the Edgar's campaign. I need to go to Four Ways Mall to shoot something. So Edgar's is the campaign that I had a huge box of makeup for. And I need to shoot that campaign tomorrow. Then we need to go to the airport and drop off some luggage for family that's going on a holiday. And is that Wednesday? Yeah. Then Thursday. Hi babe. Hi. Say hi to the vlog. Hello vlog. No, you must do it with enthusiasm. Hi vlog. <laughs> and then on Thursday, I have a meeting for um, a social media client. And then meeting is from 9 until 12, I think. How about you just invaded my office space? Excuse me, it's my office too. I have a table here too. You have a makeup table. I have my laptop on here, under my mother. Hello boy. Hello chicky. Um, so that is the week. And then I also have two meetings that I have put out there for Neon Pineapple. So that's also on the schedule of things to do for this week. I filmed a small try on haul. I really hope that the footage looked good because the lighting wasn't that great. Um, I may have rushed things because I was in a hurry to leave the house yesterday and go to church. So I may, it may have been rushed, but hopefully it's not too bad. Anyway, here is the haul video. Okay, unfortunately, this is the only spot in the house where I can have a lot of space in between me and the camera so you can see everything that is going on. I also realized that I do not have my ring on, so please hold. I first went to Zara. I couldn't find jeans that fitted me. I think up to, I went up to a Zara 42 and it wasn't fitting me, like it wasn't closing, so I was not in the best of mood, I'm sure you can imagine. Then I went to H&M and also same story. H&M sizes weren't fitting me. I can't remember what size I went up to. So anyway, I at Cotton On am a size USA 10. Okay, so that's the size that I took in these jeans and other pants. They are kind of big though, but it's fine because it's. It, I like the way it sits, like relaxed. Okay, so up first is these jeans. Now I have not worn jeans like this probably since the 90s, but I feel like they in style now, and I really love the way it's so like relaxed. You know, it's not tight. Um, it's also, it's still kind of tight where it matters, but it's just, the way it fits is so cool and so chill, and the way it looks with my sneakers, I feel like that's just the icing on the cake, and I definitely did plan this outfit around my sneakers, so that is that. So these jeans are called the Long Straight Jean in Bruny Blue, and they were 699 Rand. I really like the foot. I like the way it looks on me and I wish that it was slightly tighter but that's okay because this is me now and this is me now also because I ate a McDonald's burger so I'm very happy that they are slightly looser and then this shirt is like a flannel um, check vibe it's just I literally only wanted it for a throw over like this I feel like this look is mwah, love it so much so this is called the Boyfriend Chili Check Dark Coffee and it was in a medium and it was 499 rand. Also shout out to my husband for taking me shopping. Okay, up next is this Biggie shirt. I love oversized shirts. It's something that I just like wearing. It hides what I need to be hidden when I've eaten too much or whatever it is. I just love oversized shirts. And this one is Biggie. It's my second Biggie shirt. Where did my receipt go? So this t-shirt costed... This shirt was 350 bucks. Okay, up next 
were these leather pants. The shoes don't really go with this outfit, or I'm not vibing with it rather. But for the sake of this video, these are the shoes. This is what they look like. This top was two for 350. I took one like this and a similar one, just a different style. These pants are four leather, they are vegan leather. It was 800 bucks. At Zara, it was like one six, I think. And then these shoes were 600 bucks. So that is this outfit. These shoes aren't, I need to get used to these shoes. I feel like my feet are too wide for them. But they're cute, they're trendy. Not something I would generally gravitate towards, but it's cute. So those are those. Okay, this is the next outfit. I'm just trying to put my foot in. For the purposes of this video, I am using these shoes, but I don't think I would wear these shoes with this outfit, I don't think. Okay, so, out of breath. Actually, it kind of does look a little bit cute. I think with like a little baguette bag, this would be a cute little 90s type of outfit. I need to take the tag off these shoes. Like, so lazy. Okay, so, like I said, this was two for 350 with the other top. The original price is 250 Rand. This is the muscle top. The other one is called the Seamless Oli Mock Neck Top. And these jeans were, the color is White Haven and it was $6.99. And then you know the shoes. So this is this outfit. As you can see, there is a trend with these jeans that I'm buying. This is my favorite, favorite one. I love it, it's so cute. And it's soft and it's comfortable and it's perfect for lounge wear. It is a sleepwear. I will be wearing this around the house. So excited, it's very soft and comfortable fabric. So super happy about this. I think this is my favorite thing that I bought. It was 175 Rand for the top, I think. And then the pants were 3.99. So that is it for this section of the video. I hope you enjoyed that little haul video and yeah, I'm gonna straighten my hair, do my makeup, and then tonight we're going to my mom's house for Dindins because my granny is with her. So maybe I'll see you later. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know. I just finished filming for Maybelline and I am so impressed. Oh my gosh, my house is a mess. I'm so impressed with the way my eyelashes look. And also this lip gloss is very pretty. I'm using the shade Stone. Let me show you what the PR drop looks like. Good morning, everyone. Um, okay, so yesterday I showed you guys what was in this PR package from Maybelline but I'm going to reshoot that piece of content because I feel like it was very dark so you couldn't really see what was happening and then also today I need to go to, I need to put my arm somewhere, I need to go to Four Ways Mall to the uh, benefit counter in Edgar's to get my brows done as part of my Edgar's beauty campaign so that is what's happening today and also at some point I need to clean up the house like I really need to start repacking the cupboards because there's just too many things lying everywhere out of place and let me show you what my work slash makeup slash filming desk looks like right now it's terrible so we've got clothes this is to be no shirt but this was an outfit option then there's makeup everywhere my hair straightener my mirror this ring light that ring light, this stand, boxes at the bottom. It's just a whole mess. And inside here, there's also things shoved. So I need to clean out the situation, clean out these cupboards. It's Everything is a true mess. So I've got a system and a plan of how I can do this. So hopefully it will work. Okay, let me show you what's in this box. So this is what it looks like. So pretty, so, so, so beautiful and exciting as you can see there's like the new york skyline in the back and it's also on this box here all right so we've got um some foot me shades i think i am not that color i can't remember i think it's caramel i think this is my shade i just need to double check so i've got some foundations and um different shades that I can give to some people in my life that I know will fit into the other shades. And then in here we've got some of this lifter gloss. So apparently it plumps your, your, your lashes well. It plumps your lips 
and they do have like a shimmer in some of them obviously my camera is not going to pick them up but yeah it does have some shimmer when i shot the first video i used this color called stone and then last night when i came back from my parents house i reshot it and i used not that um no i used this color called petal is it oh yeah that's pearl so yeah i use this color called petal it's a nice pink and then we've obviously got micellar water love some micellar water and then we've got the two sky high mascaras the mascara is really good there's a waterproof one and a normal one so that is what came in this beautiful package that i love so much i really want to keep this box but as you can see we don't have space right now or oh, i need to figure out hi i need to figure out a situation for this okay now for today i need to go have a shower now and am i in focus i don't know i need to take these pumple patches off my face but i need to have a shower and then i need to go to the shop because i need something pink to wear for this shoot i don't own much pink i have one jumpsuit that i've worn all the time for dove and I have one very floral top, which I don't think is the vibe. So I need to go find something plain that's like pinkish to wear. And I also shot a reel on Monday of a cotton on try on. But I feel like the video quality could be so much better because I shot it on the front camera of my cell phone. It looks a little bit grainy. So I want to film it again, but after doing that haul, I didn't fold the clothes, I scrunched up everything and put them back in the cotton on bags to go in the washing. And now everything is creased. So, depending on how much time I have when I come back from the mall after finding something pink, and I'll probably shoot it before and edit when I'm done uh, with the benefit shoot, or I'll have to shoot when I come back because I still have to iron everything. So, I don't know how that's gonna go, but Let's see how this day turns out. Tell me now, tell me something. Cause I don't know how this gonna end. Oh no. Tell me now, tell me something. Cause I don't wanna be just friends. No, no. very weird not having my eyebrows filled in but this whole thing is to get my eyebrows done which is why I didn't do my cotton on reel before I left but I did iron my clothes so that when I go home I can do my reel so we also went to Leroy Merlin to get a few things for the house and I did vlog but I'm gonna add that into next week's vlog because I feel like next week I don't have as many appointments as I've had in the past three weeks so next week will be more of a home vlog so I'll keep that for next week um, I am wearing something that's not very me it feels like very 2018-19 Selena Trevino told me I look like a good church girl and I'm like what do you mean I am a good church girl <laughs> so I think I'm gonna be wearing a mask I hope so because of this damn thing also this Tesh Beauty I'll put it on you now this Tesh Beauty um, foundation, when I first got it, I was like, it's so nice, it looks nice. And now on the camera, it looks okay also. But in person, I feel like it, it's very grey and it makes me look very ashy. So, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we're off to Four Ways Mall now to go shoot for benefit i really hope it doesn't take two hours because i'm very hungry and i haven't eaten as yet and my 
husband promised me um, um, spur onion rings and turkey sauce buffalo wings so I hope it doesn't take four hours because then that's just gonna make me grumpy I also need to go to Mr. Supply's home because I want to get a few things <laughs> I want to get a few things and then we need to go to the airport to drop off this luggage so yeah like a whole glazed donut I feel like um, Krispy Kreme should sponsor me because I look like them like their donuts every time I go to bed today was a very tiring day and I couldn't really vlog because they were busy with my eyebrows so this is what it looks like um, after the tint and wax without any product in it very happy with the way it turned out when I left um, the benefit store it was looking a little bit thick and caterpillarish but it looks a lot more natural now so I couldn't really vlog but I did get some footage on my cell phone which I will add in and then also I feel like this whole week I've been telling you about things and they're not taking you to things so I was gonna add in clips of us at Leroy Merlin for next week's vlog but I'm just gonna add it into this vlog and then show you what I got next week and then actually do the things next week Tomorrow is my um, last big meeting for the week. So I am going to Randburg. At, I need to be there at 9 and I'll finish at 12. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll finish earlier. And then come back home. And I really just want to be in my house and start cleaning up my house. Like rearranging the cupboards. And I have a system in my mind and I think it might work. So I want to rearrange the cupboards. Um, do up the guest bedroom properly like finish painting the headboard because you know it was a different brown I want to see if I can get new bedding because I don't like the bedding that's currently there wash the curtains just Fix this damn table look at my table That situation is really Terrible so I want to fix the table Do some like proper cleaning. I didn't put any lotion on my body mm -hmm. cool and just be at home I also have one campaign that's driving me nuts, like they are just not approving. Everything is coming back with a change, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. I'm happy with the content, so it's just, and it's small things like put this there, fix that, it's, it's small things. At least I don't have to reshoot the whole thing again, it's just editing changes. I also have a lot of makeup that I want to really look through and see what I use and what I don't use and from the things that I haven't used I want to take some things out for my cousins and then I also want to put some things together for a giveaway of things that haven't been opened so I need to do that at some point and what else am I doing this week Friday hopefully is a day at home where I can just rest and edit this vlog and just chill and then Saturday we are going grocery shopping I'm, oh no, grocery shopping on a Saturday. Mm. I like grocery shopping during the week and this was gonna be my first month back to shopping during the week and not on a weekend. But I am doing a partnership with a place called Frontline Hyper. It is quite far from our house, but everyone's been telling me, like my father-in-law has been saying, go there, you're gonna get the Indian veggies that you like. My mother-in-law, my mother-in-law, my mother, my father has been saying, it's, they have great deals, you need to go there. So they actually reached out to me on Instagram via DM and asked if I'd like to do a partnership with them. And I was like, yes, that would be great. I've been meaning to actually come to the store. Even Theosha, last week when I went to do my lashes, she's like, go to Frontline Hyper. But because it's far from our house, we were just like, ugh. So on Saturday at half past eight, I'm going to Frontline Hyper. I am doing some stories for them and a reel, and then I'm gonna vlog also, I'm very excited. Um, I do enjoy grocery shopping. I just don't enjoy unpacking, but Trevino's cousin is staying with us for the last few days of his school holiday. So at least we'll have some help with unpacking groceries and then we're having a braai with Trevino's side of the family on Saturday night. Trevino is like, we have a visitor and look at me in my pajamas with like freaking stains on them. And anyway, I don't even have lotion on my body. That's my cue to leave. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
sitting on a pile <laughs> of clothes. Ugh. I wanted to say, and I forgot to say this yesterday, that Okay, the benefit experience that I had yesterday, I asked him how much it costs. It basically, it includes a brow mapping, under eye mask, brow tint, brow wax. So basically they shape your brows, they wax it, they tint it, and they put an under eye mask that mask was like my, I looked awake, like I had slept for the recommended amount of hours. So it costs 380 Rand and you can do it at any of the brow places, um, at any of the benefit brow bars. So when I first did my brows and when I looked at them like holistically, like and I looked at my entire face with my mask off, I was a bit concerned because they looked very thick. But I think it's just the way he filled them in. So when I came home and I took off all my makeup, they looked really good and I was happy with the outcome. I wish I still had my lashes on so that I could have lashes and brows done. Speaking about lashes, my first Maybelline post went live. So please go look at my feed on Instagram and show some love. Please save that video, share it, comment, um, like and leave your support on that video. I really appreciate it. So today I had my meeting, um, it was quite short, it was like an hour and a half, it was scheduled for three hours and I was panicking but thank god it was an hour and a half. And then I came home to start cleaning out our cupboards. Now the kitchen is the one that I really need to tackle and the two empty rooms but I started with our bedroom because our helper is here today. And so as she's ironing all the clothes that were washed during this week, I'm just packing them into our cupboards. Um, I still need to do one, two, three, four, five shelves make it six seven shelves including Trevino's shelves um, in the room and then this cupboard will be done I don't know how long it's gonna be like this but hopefully it lasts a little bit longer also I bought these velvet hangers from Leroy Merlin yesterday so they were 10 for 40 Rand and I took all of them there weren't many left I think they were like five packs left but also um, they weren't black they weren't black, I wish they were black. They only had this cream color, which is fine. But now I've got some velvet hangers and some plastic hangers and my OCD is like, <sighs> anyway, let me show you what I did so far. Where are my glasses? So this is Trevino's cupboard. That needs to be fixed. These shelves here need to be reset. So there's still clothes being ironed. I just put all his like shirts in here, colors, obviously. And then his pants, I put his belts like that then shoes in here formal shoes sneakers we've got um in the office we put all our like really nice sneakers in there i need to find a new way to display them i'm thinking of putting them on a floating shelf which i also forgot to go get today but we will sort that out that needs to be sorted out there that's like winter jackets and um my grandfather's pajamas and like sweatpants and more like thick winter things then in here i have some of my tops i don't know why this one looks like that so I've got some tops and dresses here and then I put my pants and um, what are these things called jumpsuits here. As you can see there's a theme going on but the colors. Um, oh yeah, they're all in color coordination obviously. And then here we've got some flat sandals and then that, I don't know what's behind there. I think it's stuffing for our pillows and my browns bears and my pinky and the teddy bear Trevino bought for me and our first valentine's is up there. In here, I've got jewelry, um, not expensive jewelry, <laughs> I don't have much expensive jewelry, but like my Lovisa stuff is here, and then right in the back, fun fact, let me look at you and tell you this. So up here, in this cupboard here, I have so much lingerie from my bridal shower, which doesn't fit me and has not fitted me from the time I got it. So I don't know what to do with it. It's just lying in that cupboard. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do there. And then here I've got pajamas and like daily toiletries and also junk, like there's a receipt, there's like a hairband, a mess. And then in here I put like um, workout clothes and vests and shorts and leggings that are in the house. And then I've just put shoes in here. So all the sandals are there. 
here we've got some heels and then here we've got like sneakers and boots and I'm gonna finish up this cupboard hopefully and I also forgot to show you this is the pile of clothes except that blazer and the leather jacket that's hiding under here this is a pile of clothes that I need to give away so between one of my cousins and one of Trevino's cousins which it will hopefully fit them I need to figure the situation out because it's a lot I do feel a little bit attached to many of these things like for example this dress I've had for like years and years like five six maybe and it's just such a pretty dress so sad to give that away um, things like these I haven't worn in I would say like two years two to three years I haven't worn these tops so it's making no use it's of no use to me this I only wore this recently because I was going to the office um, this doesn't fit me this doesn't fit me my boobs like just are just a lot <laughs> this I'll give to Trevino's younger cousin leave that there these pants fit me but I feel like I don't really use them so I'm gonna give this to my cousin because she does have a job so she goes to work this dress is also very pretty I'll try and find a photo of me in it but I bought it for a wedding like seven ish years ago I think six years ago and I haven't worn it since then. It comes with like chains to put in here. So I think I'm gonna give this to my cousin to see where she would like to wear this to if she would even like to wear it. Because it's very long. I don't even know if it's gonna fit her. Then this Trevino's grand gave me, but I don't use it, so I'd rather give it to his cousin who will use it. This Trevino's aunt gave me, I'll also give it to her niece. Um yeah, so I've got like all these things. This I have a very huge attachment to. I really like the skirt um, when I first started work working after high school like in December of matric I worked with Trevino's parents in the business and I remember like before I went to Durban for the holiday I went shopping at Mr. Price and came out with like huge bags of clothes and this was one of the things that I bought from there so I think like one day if we go on a tropical beach holiday this is nice like for a bikini um, this dress I also have a very big attachment to it's my highlighted dress but it is very tight so we'll give that away this is also one of Trevino's granny's dresses that she gave to me which I would still like to fit into I like wearing it around the house but it doesn't fit me it's kind of tight so I'll give that to his cousin this I'll give to my cousin she can wear to work if it fits her this I was also thinking of like a beach cover-up vibe because the buttons are off it but it's it's like a nice length for a cover-up Okay, let me finish this whole mess and then we will talk Hello later. Guys, um, it's Friday today and I am getting ready to go to, what is it called? I, I don't know if it's Kuroko or Kokoro, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I am going to the Korean market, Market Kokoro, I hope I said that correctly. And we are taking our cousins with us. It's actually one of Trevino's cousins' birthdays. And she's like a huge BTS fan. So hopefully we can find something cute there for her. I spent the morning doing some work. And then doing a grocery list for tomorrow. And now we're getting ready to go. So I am excited to take you guys along. I hope I find some things that I like. Obviously I'm going to get noodles. Someone, t I posted a story on Instagram. And here are some of the responses. Pink packet noodles. Definitely getting that. Chicken pot stickers, ice cream and Samyang sauce, dumplings and noodles, um, Samyang dumplings, Samyang dumplings, that sounds good, noodles, ice cream, snacks and mochi, I want mochi, because the first time I had it I didn't really like it, so hopefully I find one that tastes nice this time, um, and someone else said everything, pot stickers, Malona ice cream, honey butter chips and dumplings. So let's see what this craze is all about and what I can get. Let us take almond. Is this there for you? Which one do you want? Banana, orange, melon. I think this is peach. I don't know. Oh, oh, okay. Find the mochi flavor that you like. Then we also need to find the chocolate circle thingies. And then we also need to get um honey butter chips so find a flavor that you like oh they're choco pie this is what i came here for um, 
get you a choco pie. Okay. So, but they don't have the big packet eh? of the pink noodles. Haul time! Okay, obviously we got hot noodles. These are um, spicy carbonara. Those are our favorite noodles. Then we also have two hot chicken. Um, what is this? Oh, dumplings that need to go in the freezer. So we've got spicy Korean chicken dumplings and vegetable spring rolls. There's this guy on TikTok. I can't remember his name. He's a South African guy. He's Asian and he wears a hat in all his videos. I don't know what his name is, but uh, yesterday I actually saw a video of him making dumplings. So and he made a sauce with it. So I know how to make the sauce and I'm going to make that with this when we do eventually make the dumplings. Then this is a Trevino pick sour sweets. I don't think these are Korean. And then another Trevino pick. Garlic and onion, spring onion flavor maybe. Chips. Another Trevino pick. Buy one, get one. Buy one, get one free. I want to say colon, but colon, cream colon. Um, then I took this choco pie. I also took this um, mocha cheese. It's like a cheesecake. It's cheesecake, like Korean cheesecake, I feel like, maybe. I don't know. Then I also saw face masks. So I took two brightening ones and one red wine sheet mask, which I thought was. Oh, it's Tony Moly! I didn't even see the name. Anyway, this is for poor care because my paws need care. And then the one that I want to try is mochi. Okay, this is orange flavor. I'm not sure, is thing supposed to be frozen or not? So much better than the first try. Oh, you're very brave to put the whole half in your mouth. Interesting. Mm. A lot better than the first time. Mm. Can we taste these? Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna like this. It smells too sweet, like way too sweet. That smells sweet. It's like a wafer biscuit vibe. That's really good. Not as sweet as. Mm -mm, it's sweet. I don't want to open this now, but. Sweet. Good morning, guys. It's very early on a Saturday. We're not usually out of the house so early, but I'm excited because we are going to Frontline Hyper today. Like I said, so many people have been saying we need to go to Frontline Hyper. So we're finally going there. They have been gracious enough to give us a voucher to do groceries. So I mean, everyone needs a grocery shopping voucher. It helps everybody. No one, no one can tell me that they don't need a grocery shopping voucher. Like seriously. Also, let me know if you like me. I'm doing the wordle now, and Trevino doesn't do the wordle, so he helps me with mine sometimes. I have one line left, and I don't want to do it because I don't want to lose. So I am the person who would rather just not finish the wordle than lose. Technically, you still lose by not finishing it. No, it doesn't add to your ah. board there. Okay, guys. Okay. I just came inside quickly. Inside. I came outside to the car to quickly put a jacket on because I'm feeling a bit cold. The weather is changing. So impressed by what's happening in the store. And we haven't even been in as yet. All we did was... So there's a Costa coffee, com coffee shop inside. And we went to go have coffee. We went to meet the one of the managers here the owners he's the owner yeah <laughs> went to meet one of them and we're just sitting and talking and having coffee and like i didn't want to be rude and not listen to what he was saying but i kept looking behind me because i can't freaking wait to go shop so i actually left my camera in the car because i was like it's going to be hard to shop and vlog at the same time but i need you to see the store like when trevino saw it so this is trevino's like field of work he like works kind of retail i would say so anyway as soon as we, we drove in here, he was like, this looks like an American store. And then he told the guy that, and the guy's like, you're the only person who noticed that. So thank you, because that's what we try to achieve. Guys, it looks so premium inside. And it's spacious. It's First of all, it's massive. Like, 
I feel like some mackerels are this size. It is massive. And there's so many things. These Indian vegetables are so kalabash, so madumbis. I'm ready. Ready, okay. I don't know where I left my mask or my phone, but I'm ready to go. Tell me now, tell me something. Because I don't know how this going to end. Oh, no. Tell me now, tell me something. Because I don't want to be just friends. No, no. Guys, shopping at Frontline Hyper was so good. The selection of things that they have there, like... <laughs> like the amount of different brands that they had available. And also the one thing that I liked is, I know sometimes like even us, we shop at fruit and veg for vegetables. Then we go somewhere else for meat. Then we go somewhere else for groceries and like toiletry things and detergents. They literally have everything there. So think macro, but think affordable and clean and spacious so so happy with frontline i think we're gonna make that our new destination for grocery shopping and we just unpacked everything now i am gonna end this vlog here because i am tired the weather is also a little bit crap so i think i'm gonna watch a movie and nap yesterday we watched death on the nile yeah 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 it was it was good anyway thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this vlog please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe like comment share follow me on instagram and tiktok and see you guys next week for a new video bye Stella bellas